A local doctor's office struggling to care for the people fighting for our freedom. It's a story we first brought you earlier this month. The issue is something our senators are very well aware of. Today, national leaders held a town hall meeting in Fargo to find out what veterans are facing and how they're going to fix them now. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric talks with those who'd fought to keep us safe and senators to find out what's going to be done. Anger, frustration, and pain. I have a, a lower back problem that was a service-connected problem. Veterans and providers say they're done with HealthNet, a third-party service contracted with the VA through federal legislation. The reason? It's not working. They've changed the program in Fargo, made it more difficult for the vets here to get the services they need. The effort it takes for us to get one veteran's care is more than what it takes for us to normally provide for 20 other patients. And Senator Hoven wants this problem fixed now. You're hearing about situations where they're going through very difficult uh, health uh, conditions. They're having to wait. They have pain. They have difficulty. They're not getting the care because of this red tape, this bureaucracy, the, these compliance problems. And Senator Heidi Heitkamp echoes that, also working to fix this problem. I'm hearing huge amounts of concern and, and really complaints from our veterans, not about the VA system, but just about how this choice program isn't working for them. I asked HealthNet's representative, Matthew Rue, how they're going to fix these problems, even as proposed legislation somewhat removes them from the equation. I was referred this statement, saying they're working to, quote, eliminate the current backlog of provider claims and help ensure timely payment of claims going forward. It goes on to say how HealthNet is committed to working with veterans and the VA. In the meantime, top VA officials are in Fargo, and there will be a new pilot program implemented in the near future. Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. To read HealthNet's statement in full, we've posted it online. Just visit valleynewslive.com and click on this story.